uh, post news stories that catch our eye, headlines from uh, all the different mediums. But this one was actually my Twitter feed uh, that we are sharing this morning, and I titled, My Body is Not Your Concern. So I, I, I got to preface everything with the majority of this pregnancy, I have been flooded with compliments and uh, beautiful messages from our viewers, and it feels like a family is watching my belly grow and just as excited as me. Uh, but yesterday, uh, was not the case. There was a tweet sent to the Your Morning account uh, describing my maternity wear as disgusting. Their words, not mine. I decided to take it upon myself to uh, share this tweet with the world and say, you know what, when a 34 week, when what I'm wearing is what you find disgusting <laughs> in this world, in this week in particular, yes. you need to check your priorities. Uh, listen, I'm a firm believer that my body and your body is no one's business but your own. Your body is not for anyone to talk about, whether they're talking about your pregnant shape or they're talking about your athleticism or your hair color or your skin color. It is not anyone else's business mm -hmm. but your own. Right. Uh, and when we dive into these discussions about only complimenting or only criticizing other people, we detract from so much more. We are one human race, we are one people, mm -hmm. and when all we can talk about is our worth based on attractiveness, whether it's uh, that your pregnant shape is what's more desirable or your hair color, or like I said, even your skin color, we just set ourselves up to fail time and time again. Mm -hmm. So yes, this started about my maternity wear, but with the events yesterday, especially yeah. with what came out at about four o'clock Eastern time, which comes <laughs> yesterday, I'm encouraging all of us to share the love today. Uh, you know what is disgusting? Not my wear, but racism and hate and yeah. bullying. So let's stand up to that. Let's not just share the love, but let's stand up to it and say enough is enough and we're yeah. better than this. And we are so much more than how we look. So there you go. That's my little well said, both like, yesterday like and drop, today. Drop this? Yeah, maybe. I'm a little shaky go, saying all of this. There you but, go. Oh, drop um, the pen. Not necessarily passionate. That was all but. very, very well said. It's true. Yeah. And you know, we know in our business that, uh, that um, you know, women on television get um, are, are much more highly scrutinized than men. We, we all know the story of the morning show host in Australia, the man who wanted to make that very point and, and the wore the exact suits. same blue suit yeah. every yeah, single day for a year. That. Not one comment about what he wore. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, his female counterparts were criticized for their earrings or their hair or their makeup or their dresses. So so I, I'm very glad that you uh, you took to Twitter to, it, it does feel good to vent on Twitter a little bit, it, it? Sometimes it does. I don't do it very often. Yeah. Can I also say too, uh, while the compliments are lovely and I, I always appreciate people taking the time to share them. Compliments don't build up my self-worth either, and I don't think they should for you at home. Your self-worth comes from you and you alone, and what people say, if, they, if you let it build you up, the, the criticisms are going to tear you down. So let's find other ways to talk to each other. Let's talk about our intelligence, our ability to do our job, the character that we have, our, our integrity. That's what makes us important, and that's the legacy I want to leave behind. I don't want to leave behind that I looked rocking through my pregnancy, which I know I do, by the way. <laughs> you do. Uh, but thanks I just to want to throw that out there, too. You, yes. Uh, but I want to leave behind that I'm a good person and that I yeah. try to make this world a better place. Yeah, and, yeah. But it, it isn't a zero sum game. I think we can go through our lives telling our friends and our coworkers and the people that we pass and say, say you know what, you, you look great today sure. as, as a means of, it's not, but, but not, to, not to define them solely by that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think I, I like pass to live. Pass on a little bit of goodness. Pass on a little bit of goodness. I like holding the doors. I think chivalry is not dead. I think, uh, I think we, we can, there is nuance in the world. There is. And it's, it's not absolute, but that being said, I think what you wrote uh, is gonna resonate with a lot of people. I think we already know. We yeah. saw, it, it, mm -hmm. it, it really um, got a lot of likes and a lot of retweets. And I'm very glad that, that it resonated with people out there. And well, well said. And